You're listening to short inspirations from Ralph. What's going on with artificial intelligence? Part 1. For the sake of these podcasts, let's just call it AI. So what's the fuss all about? What would cause the big three tech giants, Bill Gates, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, to meet together in one room just recently on the subject? Elon Musk stating that it poses a civilization risk. The CBS News reported that the meeting was behind closed doors and included some bipartisan senators. Musk called for a specific regulator or referee for AI because it could get out of control. He said the meeting that they had will go down in history for the future of civilization because the consequences of AI going wrong are severe. Tristan Harris from the Centre for Humane Technology stated that a survey was done amongst researchers, top researchers, who were asked what is the likelihood that humans go extinct from our inability to control AI? or at least severely disempowered. Half of the AI researchers who responded said there was a 10% or greater chance that we would go extinct. And Harris posed the example of getting on a Boeing 737 plane and you were told by authorities that it had a 10% chance of crashing and burning. Then you wouldn't probably get onto that plane. Many of the top AGI companies have said that the situation has changed. There is now a dangerous arms race to deploy AI as fast as possible. So what exactly is artificial intelligence? It's the science of making machines that can think like humans. It can do things that are considered smart. AI technology can process large amounts of data in ways unlike humans. So the goal for AI is to be able to do things such as recognize patterns, make decisions and judge like humans. So AI feeds on data and in a very, very short time, this data has exploded, it's exponential, it's even more than that in terms of how the data is accumulating. And according to Harris, in 2017, something happened. Because before that, artificial intelligence was contained to various sub-disciplines like music or mathematics or visual images, etc., etc., But what has happened is AI has jumped across the disciplines and this is because everything at its base has mathematical numbers or letters or codes that can be understood by artificial intelligence. So this is part of the reason why it has grown so rapidly in a very short time. To give an example of this, there is a thing called theory of mind. It's the ability to understand what somebody else is thinking. It predicts and interprets the behaviours of others. And researchers were asking, do you think GBT has theory of mind? In 2018, the answer was no. In 2019, just a tiny little bit. And then in 2020, it's up to the level of a four-year-old. And then it went past that. And in January of 2022, it was a little bit less than a seven-year-old theory of mind. And then nine months later, it was at the level of a nine-year-old theory of mind. Since March 2023, this is astonishing, it's topped out and it's better than the average adult at understanding what other people are thinking. And it's now so advanced that it can actually predict the way a person's going to behave before the person themselves realizes it. 
In a recent article in Time magazine, they reported on a US Senate Judiciary Committee hearing with one of the senators, Richard Blumenthal, remarking on the advances of AI. <clears throat> he said the word with his constituents has been repeatedly the word scary. And the CEO of a prominent AI company, Anthropic, said that the single most important thing to understand about AI is how fast it is moving. Keep listening for more on this subject. God bless you.